I guess the best way of talking to you about this is to tell you a little bit of a story about me and, you know, when I discovered my Slayer. So it was, um, it was a little while ago, actually. It was when I was a bit younger and I had, uh, you know, gone into the workplace and I was really interested in making a, you know, a career for myself and a, a big career as well. I had really lofty ambitions and I always wanted to be the best and I always wanted to, you know, get to that top position and earn a really good salary and be successful in all those sort of those ways as well. Financial success was really important to me. So career success was really important to me. So I was about 25 and I was given this position as a team leader. And, you know, as a 25 year old, to be given a position of that kind of authority and power, it's quite intimidating. And I know that I was going home every night trying to figure out how to do this. I was studying at the same time and doing some management stuff to make sure that I had my competencies and, you know, that were developing so that I could develop my capabilities. And I was going home a mess a lot of the nights because I was quite fearful that I was going to make mistakes. I was fearful that my team wasn't going to be able to achieve the things that I wanted them to achieve. I could feel people watching me, you know, because I was a new team leader. And I had a number of people in my team who were much older than me, much more experienced than me, and I knew that they were watching. So I would go home feeling quite crushed, quite scared. And then I would come in the next morning and I would give it another go and I would make decisions and I would try my best and I would do whatever I could. And it was interesting because I felt that people kept drawing things out of me. They were sort of almost sucking the life out of me. So I started this little analogy in my head um, about vampires in the office and realized that for me, I was turning up every single day even though I was petrified, even though I had no idea what I was doing, even though I thought at any moment people are going to find out about me and I'm going to fail. But I would turn up every single moment, every single day. And I realized that it wasn't me that was turning up. It was the slayer within me. I was drawing on a power that I didn't realize that I actually had. And I've called her my slayer. Now, you might call her whatever you want to call her, or him for that matter, but it's that fierceness inside of you, that power inside of you that actually makes you step up, that makes you step into a leadership position, even when you have not been given that position. So you might be in a meeting and watching things happening, right? And you're just going, hang on a second, nothing's actually happening here, what's going on? Or you might be in a training program and nobody's saying anything, and you're the one that steps forward. You're the one that puts your hand up. You're the one that starts to lead, even though you don't have that permi permission or the position to be able to do that. That's that fierceness inside. That's that leadership inside. That's your slayer. That's the inner slayer that's helping you be the kind of leader that we need. Tapping into your inner slayer absolutely is the way that we get through these harder times, these exciting times, those moments of crisis, um, the, you know, that time where you've gotten through something and you look back on it and you go, I have no idea how I managed to get through that because that was a really tough situation. And you feel like you've almost stepped outside of yourself to get through that situation. That's your slayer taking control. It's that inner strength, that fierceness, that resilience that you didn't know you had that steps forward in the times that you need it most. That's your slayer. So my question to you is, wouldn't you love to be able to just draw on that strength and power anytime, anytime you needed it? Wouldn't it be amazing if you could just walk into a meeting and feel completely at ease and completely confident? Because you know your slayer is there. Some of us haven't had the opportunity to meet our slayer yet. And that's basically because it hasn't been real tough times that you've gone through. But that's okay, because we can discover the slayer without having to send you through those tough times. Now, believe me when I tell you, those tough times will absolutely come. Because you know what? That is just life. And that's the things that we need to go through to grow and to learn. Through discomfort comes massive growth. So you will go through those times. But wouldn't it be amazing if you had already met your slayer? 
If you already had within yourself that fierceness and that power to be able to walk into any room and own it. What we want to do is introduce you to your slayer. That's the very first step. If you've already met your slayer, you might not have recognized that you met her. Or him, for example. Now remember, fellas, your slayer is there as well. This is not just for women. Hence me not being into the whole goddess within, okay? This is not just for women. This is for men as well. Men need to draw on their inner slayer and their inner strength. They also need to draw on their inner softness as well. I don't quite have a name for that yet, but I think I might come up with one eventually. The inner slayer is that fierce, powerful part of yourself that allows you to be confident, that allows you to know your stuff, that allows you to walk into the room and people say, I love working with this person. They're so inspiring. That person has so much knowledge. I hope I'm on their project team. You want to be that person. You really do because they are the ones that are successful in life. You want to discover who your slayer is and what makes her or him completely unique to you. My slayer is very different than your slayer. And your slayer is very different from your best friend's slayer. So we need to discover your slayer first. So what I've done is I've put a program together that helps you do that. If you click on that link below, it'll take you to discover a little bit more information about this program. It's a really short program, but a very powerful program. And don't let the price deceive you, because this program is worth thousands and thousands of dollars to you in increased salary, in increased credibility, in increased career opportunities. Enjoy the program, get on board, just get there and do it, do it now. And look, if you're ready to take the next leap and you're ready to unleash your slayer, then have a look at the program Unleash the Slayer Within because that one will actually take you to the heights of heights. And Discover Your Slayer is within that one as well. So enjoy the program. Um, and if you're not ready for it, that's cool too. You know, you're not ready to unleash that fierceness inside of you. That's all good. You know, come back when you're ready. You know, no skin off my nose. It's all cool. I've got my slayer. <laughs> she takes care of me already. So I just want that for you. But you have to be ready. You have to be willing to do the work. I'm not going to do it for you. The slayer is not going to do it for you. You have to do it. And once you do it, you'll never look back.